Hello my love. We have today a liberation declaration. I'm not a body, I'm free. This is the central thought of the whole course. I'm not a body, I'm free. But who am I? I'm spirit. I'm the Holy Son of God. And this, my love, we deny it here in this world. We are the most beautiful extension of the Father. We are the life, the child, the son of life. And our function, we are practically Godmother. Godfather through us gives life to every being. We give a new birth to the whole universe. There's no physical universe without the idea of separation. So with that little insane idea to be separate from the source of love and life, we made up the whole physical universe. Can you imagine? All the limited forms are practically an attack. On whom? On God and me, his son, his treasure, his love. So we have to jump and deny totally, totally, that I am in the body. Because in the body I'm vulnerable. In the body I'm limited. In the body I'm separate from God, my source of life, and from all others. And all what my physical eyes see are perishable forms. So this whole world with humans and animals and plants, etc. It's just an attack on me. There's nothing in this world. I'm spirit. And the idea what many false spirit teaching are making up, that we are eternal soul reincarnating. No. This is as false as to believe that body, mind are one. That means the mind comes from the body? No. I am mind, I am spirit. I am non-physical. And I am not bound at all to this form. I live and live and live only in God. God is life. And I am his extension, life. I am the unlimited one. I don't think in the brain. Just imagine that that body, after eight months, there's not one cell or one atom the same as before. So it's always renewing that body. But you can easily remember things from your childhood. So where is the mind? In the body? No. Not at all. There's only one mind that we all share. And that is why when I liberate myself with that declaration, I'm not a body, I'm free. I'm still as God created me. So unlimited holy self we all share. We share with God, our Father, and we share with each other. And that's why we live. Because we are an unchangeable thought in the mind of God. There I live. And there I'm safe forever, one with you. So we live only in the Father. So that thought today is the fundament of my liberation. And that thought has, has to be very dear to me. I'm not a body, I'm free. Whenever I go to the beach and do gymnastics, the first thing is 
you say, I'm not a body, I'm free, I'm still as God created me. Definitely in Spanish. <laughs> I see in Tenerife, he speaks Spanish. Okay. But this is so essential that I'm not bound in a body, that I'm really free, that I'm the whole, and that with God's Father's love, I can embrace the whole false creation and liberate every being to the Holy Self we are sharing one identity, filled with all the treasures of the Father, and so everyone is free. All conflicts come from the idea of separation. Separation is conflict. Separation from God, separation from each other. No. We are one. We are sharing one identity. And this oneness and this unity is all joy. We are life. Eternally. A life in the Father. So my love, can you sense it? That we have to let go totally the world. There's nothing the world can give us. God gave us everything. God gave himself to you. And he loves you tremendously. And in truth you love him. And you are in him. We are only sharing one life, eternal life. In God, in the idea that we think in the brain, what the medical doctors also believe, and many, it's not true. Not at all true. I'm not physical. I am spirit. I am spirit and I am the whole. I am the extension of the Father. I am who I am. Now. Beyond the world of forms. I am in the Father. My light has never dimmed. I am still as God created me. I am not a body, I am free. Okay. That is so beautiful, that liberation. Lesson. Lesson 199. I'm not a body, I'm free. Freedom must be impossible as long you perceive a body as yourself. No, a body is nothing. Just an instrument, just a handy, but I'm not a body. No. The body is a limit. Who would seek for freedom in a body looks for it where it cannot be found. The mind can be made free when it is no longer when it no longer sees itself as in a body, firmly tied to it and sheltered by its presence. In this if this were the truth, the mind were vulnerable indeed. So I cannot be a body. Mind is not in the body. I'm not a reincarnating soul. That is absolutely false. False. And the gods who are teaching this, I made up. They are not real. God is love, and so am I. The mind that serves the Holy Spirit is unlimited forever. In all ways, beyond the laws of time and space, unbound by any preconceptions, and with strength and power to do whatever it is asked. Yes. Attack thoughts cannot enter such a mind. So when I give my mind totally to Holy Spirit and ask for guidance, attack thoughts cannot enter such a mind because it had been given to the source of love. And fear can never enter in a mind that has attached itself to love. Isn't that great? I'm guided by Holy Spirit, by the love. And I'm free of fear, of attack thoughts, safely guided home. It rests in God, most powerful thought. It rests in God. I rest in God. 
I rest in God, totally protected forever his child. And who can be afraid who lives in innocence and only loves? So in God, guided by love, surrounded by love, being love, no fear. I am the whole, the extension of the Father, the unlimited love. No fear, no attack thoughts. Here does it hide. Hmm? It is essential for your progress in this, the cause that you accept today's idea and hold it very dear, very important. I hold that idea, I'm not a body, I'm free, very dear. Be not concerned that to the ego it is quite insane. The ego holds the body dear because it dwells in it and lives and united with the home that it has made. It is a part of the illusion that has sheltered it from being found in illusionary itself. So the, the ego and the idea of the reincarnating soul, individual soul, is all ego stuff. It has nothing to do whatever with the truth. Very important. Reincarnation, all those teachings of karma, etc. Forget it, brother. That is not real. I believed in that. I believed in Shiv Baba and reincarnation. No, it's not true. I'm not a soul reincarnating. I'm the whole. I'm the holy self, and that I share with every being. Here does it hide the ego in the body and here it can be seen as what it is declare your innocence and you are free I'm, I'm whole and holy well in God I'm free <coughs> the body disappears because you have no need for it except the need the Holy Spirit sees for this the body will appear as useful form for what the mind must do. It thus becomes a vehicle which helps forgiveness be extended to all inclusive goal that it must reach according to God's plan. So the body under the guidance of Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ is only a means to liberate the world. I'm not a body. It doesn't even exist, it's just the handy. I am the whole, I am beyond the world of forms, the Holy Son of God, the unlimited one. Eternally safe in the Father, the Holy Self. Cherish today's idea and practice it today and every day. Make it a part of every practice period, period to take. Very important. There is no thought that will not gain thereby in power to help the world, and none which will not gain in added gifts to you as well. We sound the call of freedom around the world with this idea. I'm not a body, I'm free. And would you be exempt from the acceptance of the gift you give? No. I'm free. I'm not a body, I'm free. <laughs> and everyone is not a body, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. And all the bodies I see, they're just nothing. It's all me. There's no one but me. There's only one mind. I split it myself in billions of, of forms and egos. And I just forgive them. I give them to the light and they vanish. I don't need the body only for communication. And I don't need the world to be alive. I'm alive in God. God is and then we cease to speak. The Holy Spirit is a home of minds that seek for freedom, very important. The Holy Spirit is a home of minds that seek for freedom. I am one. In him, in him they have found what they have sought, what they have searched for. The body's purpose now is unambiguous and it becomes the perfect in its ability to serve an undivided goal, just to liberate the world. I'm not a body. I'm not a body at all. In conflict free and unequi unequivocal response to mind 
with but the thought of freedom as its goal. The body serves and serves its purpose well. Without the power to enslave, it is a worthy servant for, of the freedom which the mind within the Holy Spirit seeks. So I am one with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is my guide. I practically rest in God. I rest in God. I'm guided by the Father through the Holy Spirit, His voice, for the Father, for the truth, for the... And I'm safe. Unchangeable in the Father, safe. And share one identity with every being. Be free today and carry freedom as your gift to those who still believe they are enslaved within a body. Be you free so that the Holy Spirit can make use of your escape from bondage to set free the many who perceive themselves as bound and helpless and afraid. Let love replace their fears through you. Accept salvation now and give your mind to him who calls to you to make this gift to him. As I give my mind to you, I order my mind into Holy Spirit. Wow, and guided by Holy Spirit, I'm totally free. He knows who I am, Father knows who I am, He hasn't changed His mind about me. I'm still as God created me in the Father. For He would give you perfect freedom, perfect joy, and hope that finds its full accomplishment in God. So the Holy Spirit gives me perfect freedom, perfect joy. I am the Holy Self. In freedom, in joy, eternal living, well, in the Father. And hope that finds its full accomplishment in God. So who am I? I am the Holy Child of God. Well, in the Father. And where are you? In the Father. We are sharing one identity. That's a whole liberation. Whole liberation, my love. Just accept that. We are not living in a body, in a world of form. That is not true. We are not seeking here anything, any gold. No. We are the heaven in heaven. We are the whole holy self living in the Father. What is heaven? The oneness of the Father and the Son. And the Son lives in the Father. So I give my life, my future to the Father. I'm guided by his voice and I'm free and give that freedom to everyone. Wow. You are God's son. Yes, I am God's son. In immortality, you live forever. Just underline this. I am God's son. In immortality, I live forever. Wow. You are God's son. In immortality, you live forever. Where? In the Father. Would you not return your mind to this? Yes, I will. Then practice well the thought the Holy Spirit gives you for today. Your brothers stand released with you in it. The world is blessed along with you. God's Son will weep no more. And heaven offers thanks for the increase of joy your practice brings even to it. So heaven even is. We are all a part of heaven. We are all, and when we practice this, this joy comes even to heaven. And God himself extends his love and happiness each time you say, listen, I am not a body, I am free. I hear the voice that God has given me, and it is only this my mind obeys. Wow. I am not a body, I am free. I am not a body, I am free. I hear the voice that God has given me, and it is only this my mind obeys. Isn't that great? What a liberation. So I'm the whole, I'm in the Father, I'm his extension beyond the word of form. I am who I am, I'm the beingness, I'm the beingness. So I decided before to be limited, that was the lie of life. I made up the world. I have to be very, very clear with that. I decided for death, 
for suffering, for conflicts, for fear. I made up the word of fear. I played the false god. I played the antichrist because I denied my identity as Christ, the extension of God Father. This must be very clear. Do I want this? I wanted this in the past. And when I identify with my speciality, with my person, I made up. I choose death and conflict for me and for everyone. Do I want this? No. What do I want? I want to be true. I want to be free. I want to fulfill my function God has given me. And what is this? To change the purpose of the body, not anymore for separation and attack, but the opposite, for communication, as a healing advice, as an instrument, as a handy to bless. So I'm not a body, I'm free. I'm the whole, there's only one mind. I take over that responsibility. I made up that world of death, of conflicts. It's not real. It's just a dream. It has no cause in God. And God is the only cause. It's only an effect of an insane, little mad idea of separation. Not true. No living being can live without God. And where do we live? In God, as a holy thought of the Father, as a holy self. So today we make that decision. I'm not a body, I'm free. So I'm not vulnerable. I'm eternally what I am in the Father. I'm immortal. I'm the whole. I'm beyond the world of form. I'm filled with all the treasures God Father gave me. So I spread my wings and understand I'm not thinking in the brain. Again and again, the idea, for example, of the Brahma Kumaras to be a soul in the middle of the forehead. No, that's ego stuff. Time and space we made up, it's not real. God is real, love is real. And we are all in the Father, eternally unchanged. We have not lost our identity. We have not lost the reality. So as the other lesson, I lose the world for, for, from everything I thought it is and replace it with my eternal reality. Isn't that beautiful? How you feel? Liberated? One with you, Jesus. And one with all the brothers in the Father. But at the same time, why I'm making that jump to liberate myself, I feel this tremendous pull in the body. So we must make it clear to us. The whole world we made up thinks differently. The whole thinking system we made up of humans, of animals, etc. The world we believe to live in is not there. It's just a cloud, a Fata Morgana, fantasy. Only the eternal is true. I am who? God's son. Well, in the Father. I make that jump. So from a limited, limited little being, I must make that jump to my unlimited beingness in God, the whole. There's no one but me. Without that acceptance, there's no one but me. I cannot liberate. None. I am, as God created me, his extension. There's only God in me. I am the whole. I am the whole. And as a father am I. I accept my father, my creator. I forgive God, Father, all the false gods I made up. Shiv, Baba, Jehovah, Allah, Krishna, whatever. It's not real. 
There's only one God and God is love. There's only one God and God does not teach us karma and guilt. There is no guilt. We are as God created us in the Father. We have never hurted anyone and nobody hurted us. We are back home in Him. I feel liberated. I am the Holy Son of God. And Father, bless through me all beings. All beings. Being home in you from that position. Use this body. Use my mind to give all beings a new life, a new birth in my mind. So what I projected out, the limited forms, was my killing. I let it go. Change for the wish for death, the wish for resurrection, for life, and give life to every being. There is no life in that world of forms. That's only dying. Only this from birth on. Don't count the years how old you are. You are not aging. You are the Holy Son of God. And this body serves for the purpose of the Holy Spirit to liberate all. But you are the whole. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Have a beautiful day and practice it day and night. I'm not a body, I'm free. I'm not a body, I'm free. And I'm one with you. I love you.